Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know what happens to the newly baptized after their celebration at the Easter Vigil? In order to understand this, it's important to realize our own history with regards to the Easter Vigil and the newly baptized. In the early church, uh, after the, um, the elect, uh, catechumens now known as the elect, were baptized and fully initiated at the Easter Vigil, um, the, the celebration continued, the Easter celebration has typically continued for another 50 more days. Uh, and Easter was so significant that an octave was established with regards to Easter. An octave meaning that the Easter day would actually be celebrated for eight days in succession, for a whole week. Um, and so during that time, it was expected that the newly, fully initiated, newly baptized um, adults would attend Mass every day for the entire eight days, and they would receive further instruction on uh, what the initiation meant and connecting that the initiation symbols to their everyday life. This period uh, was known in the early church as mystagogy. Now mystagogy may be a strange term to us, but it goes back to the early church in, and it's the unpacking of two, two words. Uh, one is agogos, which means a leader, one who is leading the group. Uh, and the other one is mystes, those who are being led into the mysteries. Uh, and so mystagogy was an attempt to unpack the mysteries of the full initiation ceremonies that they experienced during the uh, Triduum, most especially on the Easter Vigil. And so uh, the entire period from the Easter Vigil all the way to Pentecost, full 50 days, was seen as the period of mystagogy, where the newly baptized were to attend Sunday Masses with their white garments, their new, new, uh, new creation, new garments that had been given to them at baptism, indicating their new life in Christ. And the bishop uh, of the community would instruct the newly baptized into the deeper meanings of the uh, initiation and what it meant to be fully initiated into Christ and what that implies in regards to their everyday life from now on. Um, in 1973, the Second Vatican Council's renewal of the liturgical tradition of the church uh, established or reestablished to reintroduce the RCIA and part of the RCIA tradition, the rite of Christian initiation of adults, part of that currently still is the time of mystagogy, which occurs after full initiation at the Easter Vigil. Um, this time of mystagogy is a time of both liturgical catechesis as well as further immersion into what it means to be a full-fledged member of the community. Uh, they were asked to reflect on what, what was it that they experienced uh, you know, during the Triduum of Sertia at the Easter Vigil, and what were some of the things that they uh, connected with? Um, one commentator suggested that, for example, um, the symbols, there were many symbols that were thrown to the whole community at the Easter Vigil, and they asked the newly baptized of all these symbols, and he, he kind of symbols is connected with the word for balls. He says, it's as if during the Easter Vigil, many balls were thrown out to the community. And now mystagogy actually is a period of time which asks you to reflect on which balls did you catch, which symbols may, had meaning and significance for you, and why. And so the period of mystagogy was an attempt to try to unpack and enter more deeply into the mysteries that they had been initiated to at the Easter Vigil and now would continue to impact the rest of their lives. So it was recommended that uh, uh, the reflection continue for the, at least for the 50 days. And then many suggestions that we had currently today that you know the group meet, would meet for a month, uh, once a month uh, between uh, the time they, they were initiated all the way to uh, the, um, the mystagogy that ends with Pentecost and then once a month all the way till the anniversary date. And on the anniversary date of their baptism, they would be uh, 
brought together again, and they would uh, re be recommitted uh, to their baptismal commitment that they did at the Easter Vigil. So Mr. Goji is an interesting period of time uh, for the newly baptized, simply because it asks them to seriously reflect on the meaning and significance of what they went through and how it impacts, how it connects to the life experience today and what direction it will take in their lives. Uh, so I hope this has helped just a bit to understand uh, this kind of almost problematic and mysterious term called mystagogy. Uh, but I hope you understand that it's seriously a, an unpacking, if you want, of what has happened to the newly baptized at the Easter Vigil, as well as those already baptized and what that meaning and significance is for them. So I hope this helps in understanding Mr. Goji, and I hope you will return once again to more Do You Know questions to deepen our understanding of our faith, tradition, our relationship with God. Thank you.